Welcome back to another video. Today I'm talking about a character that we know rarely anything about, but of course he was the first. Indra. Indra is the direct son of Hagram El Tupsuski, the Sage of Six Pass. He is insanely powerful, massive chakra reserve, and of course, as we see within the filler and a little manga panels, he has all the abilities of Sasuke, Madara, combined. He is probably the strongest non-Renegon user Uchiha as he never gained the power of his father he never gained the ten tails he was never on the same so before anyone blows this out of proportion he is not as strong as Jubidara. he's never gained that power of the ten tails his father didn't give him the power which started the cycle of hatred in the first place because it looked to him that his father was picking favorites he never gained the power of the renegon so he's definitely not on sasuke's level he is as skilled and talented as sasuke and madara maybe even more as he was the original sharagon user he probably he's the strongest sharagon user because he's since he's the direct son of uh he's the direct son of hagoromo he doesn't have the ability to go blind with his overuse of the sharagon nor does he have the ability itself to conjure hatred to be fair but granted granted with his insane chakra pool is able to use the susano up to its maximum potential he most likely does not have the eternal mangeko sharagon even though it's shown in the manga and even in the anime filler yeah we have to talk about filler there's not much shown in this he has the full form Susano, so whoever had Sharagon at this moment, he rather took, because Hagoromo did disperse his chakra a little bit, or he, he has a different, you know, he has a different setup, to be fair. Now, unfortunately, this isn't a character we know enough about. We know that he's the original of Madara and Sasuke. He has all their abilities. The problem is with Indra and why he can't be on Sasuke and even Jubidara's level is that he doesn't have the Renegon. He never gained the access to his his father's power. Sasuke has droplets of it and you see how insanely broken he is. Madara had droplets of it. He never had full control over the Ten Tails and he doesn't have the creation of all things technique that Hakuromo has. Period, right? So... He's not as powerful as Hagoromo, as Smadara within that powerful space. But if you matched him up against Sharagon user, against other Sharagon users, especially Sasuke or even Madara Sharagon, interest be in the breaks off them for sure. Now, this is another character that we should see more about. We need to know more about, especially his travels with when, no, when he had to leave his family. And of course, if he still loved his family at the end of the day, but th he died hating them, to be fair. So, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. It's just not much to talk about within this thing. I'm going to say he's just the third strongest Uchiha. Now, if you want to say he doesn't have the feats, the statements, that's fair. Because we don't see much of this character. But we do know that he is the originator. He has all the abilities of Sasuke and Madara. And that if he was granted his father's power, much like sasuke was or even up to the point how madara just took some of that power he would be insanely powerful and broken anyway like and subscribe so he is this third i'll say the third strongest uchiha full power since he never had the ability to gain the renegon by himself though he should have as he's a elto suski he's not going to be as powerful as his father but he should have gained the renegon but he just never did or is it because, no, he should have it. Anyway, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. He's also the originator of the Uchiha. And started the whole stone tablet thing, but I think that's from Black Zetsu. Anyway, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.